pray nothing happens to Umodo. Enogun Youth Group wants Nam de Kano as group plans to march in protest against threats to life of Umodo, a youth group under the aegis of Save Enogun Youth Initiative, has warned the leader of indigenous people of Bihafra, IPOB Nam de Kano, to stay clear from the president general of Ohane Zendigbo, Chief Inia Mwodo, or face the dire consequences should anything happen to him. The group which was reacting to a threat issued by the leader of the indigenous people of Bihafra during his 28th June broadcast on Radio Bihafra using his members to stone Chief Mwodo at to stone Chief Umodo at site for failing to protect the zone against the rampaging Fulani S-men in the region, want that Kano should be warned against instigating internal crisis in the region. A statement according to the group's coordinator and the convener, Mr. Chibweze Woga and Honorable Gui Solomon explained that an average Igbo man in the contemporary Nigerian nation feels marginalized and ill-treated and Chief Umodo has been speaking out against his untard development as well as fighting to protect the interest of the region by every means available to him. When Kano's house was invaded by the military, Inia went to Chatham House in London, where he sought for intervention of big powers while telling the world that Nigerian government has committed genocide against its people. When during Donald Trump's victory march by IPOB in River State, where some of the protesters were killed by the military, Chief Nia cried foul, gave government ultimatum to bring the killers of his children to book. During his inauguration speech as President General of Ohane Zendigbo, Umodo labasted President Mamadou Buhari for excluding the Southeast region from major government appointments as well as sensitive projects. The other day again, a bomb blast went off at Nia's residence at Uke fueling speculations that IPOB wanted to kill the Igbo leader. So what else does Kano want from Chief Nia Wado? We queried. The group further called on the governor of Enogon State, retired Honorable Dr. Ifanyi Egwanyi, to ensure protection of life and safety of Nia Wado, as any attack on his personality would be met with stiff resistance by the youth group. If there is anybody that cannot listen to, let the person prevail on him to withdraw his strength on Chief Umodo, as any attempt on the former Minister of Information Life will be met with stiff resistance. Meanwhile, the youth said the association has concluded plans to organize a peaceful protest march to Enogun government house where the body will remind the governor of Enogun state is avoir to protect life and properties of Enogun citizens, irrespective of their status. Meanwhile, a lot have been said so far, a lot of reactions on Twitter that Nam De Kano is out to destroy Igbo unity, who gave him mandate to agitate for Bihafra for us. That is serious. Meanwhile, it has been said that Umodo boasted he sabotaged Bihafra during the war and he must do same if he, if need be. The statement alone qualifies Nia Umodo to be stoned wherever he is found. Nam the Kano issuing that is in order. Wow. So people are even of the opinion that if Nam the Kano says Umodo should be stoned to death, yes, he is right because Umodo has disappointed the people of Bihafra. Well, 
Well, one thing I see is that I think Mambi Kano should just, you know, relax the way he's trying to, you know, issue killings of elderly people because they have been going against his decisions. I think it's not a right thing to, you know, to do by, you know, creating a, a war in the midst of the Bihafrans. What do you want other people or what do you want the Bihafrans followers to now think of you people? Meanwhile, it has been said that the Bihafran Nations Youth League, BNY Health, has warned the leader of indigenous people of Bihafra, as in Happy OB Nambekano, to desist from creating problems anyway for the Igbo people and he should stop threatening to kill the elders who go contrary to his opinion. You can imagine even Chief Ralph Wanzorike of the Bihafra Independence Movement, Bihahem, had earlier, as in recently, issued a similar warning to Kano saying that Bihafra should not be realized if it would be a place where elder statesmen and religious leaders will be insulted and dehumanized fine he said that Bokano was accused of all in insults on Igbo leaders and religious leaders through the london-based radio biafra and his social media platform now the deputy leader of bny hell Ebuta Takon Ako, in a statement to Daily Post on Wednesday, said such actions will put the lives of the high POB members at risk. You can imagine. So, the BNY Hell want the high POB supporters to be mindful of any instruction they carry out cheapishly. He is endangering the lives of his members because we will respond this time to any assassinated attempt on any elder in the east so that is what they are saying right now and these elders may be doing things that we don't like because of their age we should condemn their moves criticize them we don't have to threaten them with death and that is something that we are talking about you don't need to threaten these people with death you should caution them talk to them Tell them what you are doing is no good. We are not happy, but not that you should not threaten them with death. No, it's uncalled for. Or are we helping the Fulani to kill our own people? Like what Yol Edoche said, you people should stop fighting yourselves. And that is it. Stop fighting yourself. Instead, fight your enemies. And this is where some of these things are coming out from. And now, Wodo was not the person who collected the defense fund. Bihafra supporters donated worldwide. Up till now, we have not seen a single trained soldier from IPOB to combat Fulani. And that is what the youth are saying right now. Meanwhile, the same thing he told his members to do, Anthony Nwoko, and when the man was killed, they denied it, even when evidence from the national leader of BNY Hell, Prince Will Chimeze Richard, pointed to one of their Inogun chief security, they denied and flew him to Ghana. Now, he has started again. It won't be taken this time. That is what the youth of Enugun are saying right now. Meanwhile, he said the killer of Umoko has since taken to Ghana when he was exposed by BNY Hell and his family issued statements denying that their son knows nothing about it. If we are as bad as the killers would have gone against such a family. Well, so they are now saying that Namde Kano must stop forming cult groups because we will mobilize our militant boys to confront his cultist if he is looking for internal conflict like that of South Sudan because this has nothing to do with Bihafra struggle. Well, and Ebuta Takan also said that his group will continue to stand for what is right despite who is involved adding that they have been cautioning former Niger Delta militant leader Asari Dokubo to shit his words recently. 
Well, a lot have been said so far, but my own take now is like according to what we have been saying so far, if somebody has committed any offense, then death should not be the penalty. And let there be love in the midst and in between behaviors. That is what we are talking about. And the good Lord will continue to protect everybody, protect behavior, and it will be actualized in no time. This is wisdom. You people should use wisdom to run this race. Well, let me have more takes from you and remember to subscribe for more updates. Thanks and God bless.